Hello my unapologetic beauties, welcome to another episode of Unapologetically Her, hosted by yours truly, Natalie Nadine. Unapologetically Her is a podcast created to not only tackle all things female and urban pop culture, but to empower, embrace, and educate the women of today's society. Welcome back to another episode of Unapologetically Her, the podcast that's for her, by her. And for today's episode, I have Katrina. Welcome to the podcast. Thank you for having me. I'm so happy to be here. (laughs) I love it. So before we get into anything, let Mm -hmm. people know where they can find you, what you do, social media, you're Mm -hmm. a musician as well. So tell them everything. Yes. So I'm from Toronto. I'm a creative. I love music. I love fashion. I love all those kind of things. Mm-hmm. I'm normally on Instagram. You can find me on Instagram at Katrina.Anastasia. That's A-N-A-S-T-A-S-I-A. And my name is kind of across the board all on all social medias. It's Katrina Anastasia. Perfect. So you guys can find me there. And I just started releasing my own music and there's lots more to come. So I'm very excited for the journey. Yes, I'm excited <laughs> for you, girl. Yes, thank you. You guys are also going to get a little clip of her music later on today, so make sure you stay tuned. I'm mm-hmm. so happy. <laughs> Me too. I'm so-, so excited. It took way too long to get it all out, so I'm glad it finally did. Oh, that's good. I think COVID yeah. kind of just gave you that time to be like, here I am. Exactly, exactly. I think... COVID almost shot me down where I was like, oh, I don't want to do anything. But, you know, I kind of just was like, this is a great time to really put in the work and put in the time to Mm -hmm. get the stuff done and and put myself in a position. So I'm where I want to be in a year from now or in two years from now or wherever. Right. So that's good. Yeah, it's perfect. Well, actually, that kind of leads me into the first question for you. How are you COVID wise? Because we know a lot of people, like we said, have had those ups and downs. Sometimes Mm -hmm. you didn't know to pursue to pursue through it or should you just stay still so how has it been for you um it's been good honestly luckily like I, I've I've been working at McDonald's since I was 16 so luckily that never got shut down although mm-hmm. being a creative and you know having this creative mind and working at McDonald's feels very almost trapping in a way like I just feel yes. like my time should be going or being spent somewhere where I'm actively stimulating my creativity. So I've been really trying to get out of that. So I was doing um, assisting for a photography studio for a while, but then that got shut down in November. So Mm -hmm. I've just kind of been gliding along and, you know, trying to make money here and there. And so my goal is to make so my music and my creativity funds itself and I'm able to live sustainably off that is the goal. So that's what I'm going for. I love that goal, girl. I know what you would be proud (laughs) <laughs> no, so far so good I feel like I'm like you I've been at home because working in retail mm. so I've been kind of home and just be like okay now what can I do how yeah. like you said how can I make money exactly like, exactly casting for fun but photography on the side I'm like I feel that trappedness especially right? when I go back to work and I'm just like oh I know okay. and going like going back to work is great obviously we can't complain about going back oh, to work but also it's like we can't be picky about where we're working right now, obviously, because there's so many people that can't even find a job. So of course we have to be grateful for it. But at the same time, yes. putting putting all your time into work that might have nothing to do with, you know, where you want to go in future can can definitely feel like it's holding you back or Absolutely. taking up too much of your time. So yeah, that makes That's sense. It's trying to find that balance between, okay, you're nine to five and then you're, I would say you're five to nine the next morning. <laughs> Literally. The creative hours. <laughs> exactly, exactly, totally. Yeah, right? for sure. But aside <laughs> from COVID, how have you been just in general? I've been good. I mean, I've definitely had a lot of ups and downs and kind of just finding, you know, who I want to be, where I want to be, mm-hmm. all that kind of stuff has, it's been a journey. And I think everyone deals with this journey throughout own life. And I honestly think it never stops. I think people constantly grow and evolve. Yes. Um, but this time I've, I've really been able to harness kind of where I'm at and where I want to be. And I've been really trying to, you know, put in the work and, and really get things done so that in a few years from now, I have grown and I have I'm on to new things and bigger things right because I don't just want to stay on one flat line I want to make sure I'm constantly evolving for sure oh I love that and I think that can be very inspiring for a lot of people you expand yourself expand your creativity your skills like you said you don't want to be on that flat line try to see everything that you can do while you have the opportunity now 
Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And especially too, I know not everyone has the winter months and the summer months, but people always tend to, you know, maybe feel a little bit more unmotivated during the winter times when it's cold and stuff, right? But this year, I've kind of been like, this is the perfect time to really kind of become reborn and put in yes. all that hard work now where we're not being, you know, tempted by the sunny outside weather to go outside. Because as soon as that nice weather comes, you all know we're all outside and we won't exactly. have as much time to, you know, really put in the work to get stuff done. So that's mm. kind of what I've been thinking of and how I've been trying to, you know, motivate myself to be working hard right now. I love that. Yeah. Oh, girl, you already inspired me. We just started. <laughs> Yay. So my first official question for you is, mm -hmm. can you explain how mental health and productivity go hand in hand? And why yes. did you choose this topic as well? Well, firstly, when it comes to why I chose this topic mm -hmm. was because I know that in every industry, obviously, productivity is very important. Yeah. Um, but when it comes to the creative industry, it, it's so highly saturated that sometimes we get distracted by other things or, you know, we, we get overwhelmed by everything that we feel we have to do. And that's mm -hmm. something that I've been struggling with recently and just through kind of this whole lockdown and everything with my music is I've just been really hard on myself for not being as productive as I want to be. Yeah. Um, so that is why I picked this topic. And I, I completely think that productivity and mental health go hand in hand, mm -hmm. um, at least personally for my decision. And I also wanted to mention everything that I'm talking about, about mental health. I'm speaking from my own personal perspective and my own personal experiences. And I yes. acknowledge that, you know, other people have different um, journeys and everything. So I'm just speaking for myself. Mm -hmm. um, but for me, if, if I wake up in the day and, and I feel like I didn't get a lot done, I'm very hard on myself, which makes me less motivated to do more, if that makes sense, you know? Absolutely. Like, I like to remind myself that my mind is just as strong of a muscle as my body, right? And I think that mm -hmm. it's important that we constantly connect our mind and our body together because just like if we were gonna be working out or you know doing physical activity, if we're sitting around all day, you know, watching Netflix or doing this and we're not working these muscles, when we do get up and try to work out, then our body, our body doesn't have the energy because it's it's used to just relaxing, right? So the yes. more you work out, the more energy your body actually gives you. And it, 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 I've literally seen it happen. I've experienced this firsthand where I will wake up after working out three days in a row and being so tired and waking up and feeling the energy to want to mm -hmm. work out. And it's the exact same thing with our mind. Like if we're sitting around watching Netflix all day on social media or like kind of distracting ourselves yeah, and kind of just trying to put our mind, like shutting off our mind. Like I think everyone knows that feeling. I've, I've experienced that so many times where it's just like, I don't want to deal with reality. I don't want to deal with anything. So I just hop on Netflix or wherever and just start distracting myself yep. and invested in these TV shows or wherever that aren't even real. And I'm like, kind why of just am I blocking spending... out the mind, blocking yes. out the world from your mind? Yes. And I'm like, mm -hmm. why am I spending so much time worried about this character that's not even real? You know what I mean? So yep. just like I was talking about my body and or our bodies and working it out, it's the exact same thing with our mind. If we are not mm -hmm. constantly stimulating our mind, our body is adapting and is like, oh, okay, so you don't need this energy or you don't need, you know this productive behavior so I'm I'm not going to supply it for you whereas yeah. if you constantly if you slowly take step by step to to work harder or to do one more thing each day then you'll realize that the next day you'll feel like you have the capacity to do more and more so that's where I kind of feel that they connect is Absolutely. that the more productive we are the more we feel at peace with like our mental health and um, you know, our worthiness or wherever, right? So. Yeah, and it's kind of like the right product, the right productivity in a sense, because we could be productive in so many ways, but mm -hmm. sometimes we can do it in a negative way or an unhealthy way. Yeah, totally, yeah. totally. Yeah, for sure. Oh, okay. I <laughs> uh, see. I always know like there was a connection, but I like how you explained that. That's a nice way of looking at it. Yeah, I, I, I try to explain. Like, it's really important for me to constantly remind remind myself of that because it's not a matter of you know, oh, I can't do it, or oh, I don't want to do it. It's literally, you feel that way because you're not used to doing it. Your body is not 
um, that's not the regular routine, right? But as yes. soon as you start forcing yourself to make it a regular routine, it just gets easier and easier and easier and you become more inspired and more inspired. It's just like working out. When you start seeing results, you're like, okay, let's go, you know? Yes. But like, if you're not seeing any results, if you're not putting in the work, then you're not motivated to move forward, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So wait, a side question. How do you like, how did you push and motivate yourself? Because girl, I've been in lockdown for quite some time and I still can't motivate myself to work out. Yeah, on it for working out, that was a like, I don't know, it was one of those things that I always was interested in. Mm -hmm. But like, I never really had a gym membership, all that stuff. I was always doing stuff at home. And I just realized I was like, you know what, it wasn't necessarily that I wasn't happy with my body. It was, I want to ensure that in the future, like, that my body is working good. And it's, you know, able to move and it's limber, right? Because right yeah. now in our in our youthful years is is the time where we really have the opportunity to push our bodies and to do these things because as we get older, our body depreciates, right? Or, you know, hopefully mm. we're eating healthy and, you know, it, it stays healthy for a long time, but for the most part, it starts to de depreciate. Um, so we have to be putting in the work now so that as we get older, our muscles are stronger and able to work better with our bones and our joints and all these things right because if we're just sitting around all day and we're not using our body in these years of our lives there's no way that once it's just going to be way harder in the future to get that done right so it's it's just better to start sooner than later um on fitness journey that's for sure okay that's it i'm sold <laughs> i don't think i've ever heard someone really explain it that way and i'm just like uh, like i bought all the equipment trust me yeah. the guy at walmart was like oh new year's resolution i said mm-hmm <laughs> can you just cash me out please thank you and I've been sitting there and I'm just like I need the motivation that right there I'm about to replay just that one minute of you <laughs> on repeat yes. every day <laughs> yes every yeah, day for sure and and I think when when it comes to even working out and when it comes to anything else even you know, even mental stuff or anything. It's just about educating yourself, right? Because if you're going into something or you really want to do something, but you know nothing about it, or you're just not as experienced in it, then mm -hmm. it makes it less, you know, you're not as, in, you're not as motivated to do it because you're like, oh, I don't really know what I'm doing. So what's the point, you know? Yeah. So definitely just do the research. Like, girl, you can literally message me anytime. I'll, I'll always show you like some fun workouts that I like to do. So yes, it's just about, staying educated and 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 really mm -hmm. I think it's just being interested in it you know because it's yes. like it's one thing to want to do something but like doing something isn't as fun or as enjoyable as if you're actually interested and in, in what that thing is exactly yes yeah. so, <laughs> point right there girl already dropping gems I'm telling you <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, tell the people how mm -hmm. has mental health um I guess mental health issues affected your productivity in the past and how did yeah. you overcome it for sure so the first thing that I wanted to mention is um I've definitely dealt with mental health issues um but for me it's always been kind of it's like up and down right like some mm -hmm. days are they're more prominent some days they aren't as prominent um but I did grow up with someone very close to me that dealt with it on a daily basis all the time. Uh -huh. So that, what, what was difficult for me with that was that, you know, living with someone um, who is maybe not feeling as inspired or motivated, mm -hmm. living alongside that and trying to stay motivated was really, really difficult for me. Um, because it's like, it's like when you're, if you're like trying to stay healthy and then, you know, someone's eating a chocolate bar beside you, you're kind of just like, mm, <laughs> you know, like that looks nice over there or whatever, right? <laughs> So that was definitely one of the kind of the things that happen, but mm -hmm. I've been, as, as the years go by, I've been better and better and kind of, kind of just blocking it out and just, you know, focusing on my own goals and making sure that what I'm doing, because either way, if, if I'm focusing on my goals, then I will inspire other people to do that too. So Absolutely. rather than me focusing, oh, you know, they're not really being productive. So maybe I shouldn't be, it's like, no, I'm being productive and me being productive will furthermore um, motivate them to become productive right so yes. that for sure and then also I was just feeling like even about my music and stuff um, obviously the music industry is a very very competitive industry mm -hmm. it's very highly saturated there's lots going on there's you know it's it's hard to kind of find your space and kind of own that space and 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 not be copying anyone else so 
there was a big period of my, of my time basically like within the past year where I was feeling very overwhelmed and doubtful and like losing confidence in my work and in myself oh. that was completely affecting my motivation of course mm-hmm. um because obviously not being productive affects your mental or my mental health um so it felt impossible for me to get out of that so I really yeah. had to just shift my perspective on the whole situation so obviously most of us have that little voice at the back of our head that tells us that we're not good enough or we always tend to compare ourselves to other people whether that's people who work in our industry or just on our day-to-day lives right absolutely and unfortunately with all this new social media sometimes we get the construed idea that our worthiness is based on our online status so this is something that I really don't agree with I don't think that our followers or anything <clears throat> should determine our worth because it's just that's not who like it's not real life like real connection no. real conversation real thoughts and opinions are what you know should be okay you know wow that's that's cool but some people they just they get things or whatever because they're followers and that's fine that's just how it works right but yeah. I think it's I like just the monopoly of it all exactly right mm-hmm. so I never think that our worthiness should come from the opinions of others. I think our worthiness really, the, who has the strongest opinion on our worthiness is ourselves, right? If, if you know, like, yeah. I'm being a good person, I'm being kind, I'm putting in the work, I'm, you know, you're, you know that you're doing all these things well, other people's opinions of you, of course you can listen to them, of course you can take them into account, but they don't determine how you should feel about yourself. Mm -hmm. you know and that's what's this problem with with or one of the problems with social media is just the fact that we think that everyone else's opinion is you know who we are and it's the same thing when it comes to music like literally musicians careers are based off of what other people think of them and if they like their music and all this stuff right so I was just getting very overwhelmed of the whole thought about that but then I really realized I'm like if I just be myself and I just do what I'm proud of and write songs that I like and music that I like, Mm -hmm. I know that I will be proud of my work and I won't feel intimidated by other people's opinions because Mm -hmm. I'm already proud of what I'm doing and I know I put in the work, right? So I really had to shift my perspective away from, oh, I, I hope they like it or I hope, you know, whatever, and kind of just be like, I like this, I'm putting it out and I know you guys will like it too. You know, it's that, it's the confidence that's like, I put in the work and and this is good and 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 you can say you don't like it and that's perfectly okay I'm still going to mm-hmm. continue to do what I love to do and yeah <laughs> I love that yeah definitely a prime example of just showing up for yourself believing in yourself we kind mm-hmm. of put all this I always I think I posted a video like this earlier where it's like we kind of put this stress and these expectations on other people Mm-hmm. whether they're realistic or not where they need to approve us they need to support us share our content share our work but if we are waiting on those people to do those things for us then we might never get to where we want to be it might never get done exactly exactly yeah. and, and that even brings me to a point I was thinking of the other day where it's like same sort of thing with social media is sometimes people think oh I need to post a certain way or I need to dress a certain way or I need to you know do whatever in a certain way to please other people but in by doing what you think other people want from you you Mm -hmm. actually you make it harder to find yourself because if you're constantly trying to be what other people want you're just so blind to like what you want and and yeah. what you want to perceive or what you want to showcase yourself as mm-hmm. you know because if you just continue to do what everyone else wants you you may just blend into the crowd because everyone else is or not everyone but you know there's a lot of people doing that same sort of thing where they just want to please um their followers or wherever right mm-hmm. so yeah yes oh that's so true you guys show up for yourself continue to be yourself and just be your biggest cheerleader mm-hmm. it'll go that's so cool. much further than having someone constantly telling yeah you go go no I'm I'm a go yeah I'll be me and do me yeah exactly 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 Exactly. and and you know even if people are coming at you and saying they don't like it or whatever I think you know don't listen to the haters but if you have those real people in your life that you respect your their opinion and they respect your artistry it's it's, I think that that's when it's important to listen to their opinion of course like if you have someone you trust and and they know what you're all about if they have some constructive criticism I think that's 
it's great to have it's mm-hmm. great to listen to people it's great to hear their opinions but if people are just coming at you or you know they're trying to tell you that oh you're not going to make it or oh you really you know just questioning it it's just like yeah. you know what it's okay I'll, I'll I've answered my own question you know move yep. on type thing so exactly <laughs> you guys just do it and be it point blank period mm-hmm. point yep. blank period, period. <laughs> <laughs> love it oh my gosh so my next question for you is mm-hmm. what advice can you give to those battling mental illness and have lost their productivity mm, this is a really great question so again with mental illness it's a big spectrum i can totally understand that some things may feel harder to others um, or may not feel as, as attainable, but it's all just in the little steps. It's, it's mm-hmm. taking the big picture and breaking it down so it's not as overwhelming because that's where, like I mentioned before, that's where I would get stuck is like that overwhelming feeling of there's so much to do. How am I going to do it all? And then that, that feeling stops you from doing anything at all because you're like, I don't even want to start. But yeah. starting is the most important thing. As soon as you just get that little ball rolling, it eventually snowballs into, into a bigger thing, right? So something I like to do is I like to write down a little small list of all the little tasks I want to get done. So mm-hmm. I'll always add the tasks on the list that I'm going to complete no matter what. Like I'll put wake up on the list. I'll yeah. put read on the list. I'll put eat on the list because I know that I'm going to do that no matter what. So mm-hmm. even if at the end of the day, I there's always going to be boxes for me to check off right and so this this checking off the box or crossing stuff off your list Mm -hmm. is so motivational because you're like "Mm, I did this I did this and and the more that you do the more you're motivated to do more right so I like to do that and then I normally put it in order of like what's most important or what's kind of on a time limit and then at the bottom of the list I'll add things that I just really want to do, but maybe don't necessarily have a time limit, but just things that I really want to get done for the future. So it's always, you're looking at it. So you're constantly reminding yourself, like these little things are working up to get to these big goals that I'm trying to accomplish. Yeah. So I would say that. And then even with that is like, just write your big goals down and break down each goal into the tiny little steps that you need to do to get there. And then every day you can just do one of those little things. And it just, Mm -hmm. it doesn't make it feel as overwhelming or, unattainable I like that I definitely like the whole like um concept of kind of checking off the boxes because I feel like I'm that way too like I have like this big like I would say like my content calendar okay what am I gonna do today I'm recording today I'm gonna maybe do this online course today I'm gonna do this today and I like kind of seeing it where I can just check it off write Mm -hmm. down just to Mm -hmm. kind of see hey I accomplished this and you feel that push to continue to like I would say continue to move forward because it's like okay you can do it again tomorrow. You could do it again next week. So yeah, something 100%. like that concept. 100%. And even too, with the checkoff list is like, I honestly think, because if we want to be productive, if, if we want to kind of, um, you know, help our mind or, or help our journey and our mental health journey is we have to also, like I was mentioning before, we have to be kind to our bodies. We have to be mm-hmm. drinking lots of water. Like, when you eat stuff that has lots of proteins and nutrients, it fuels your mind, right? If you're just eating fast food all the time, you're not actually really getting any nutrients out of it. So completing those tasks and being productive might feel a lot harder to do because your body is kind of working with not much because you're not eating properly or with with nutrients and all these things, right? So Mm -hmm. that's another thing too, is like, focus on your physical health too. The mental and the physical health are so connected. Yes. And I think a lot of people forget that. So, and and no matter what, when you're eating healthy, oh, girl, it makes you feel so good. Like when I, I, I used to not eat healthy, today. right? When I, when I used to not eat healthy at all, I didn't realize that not eating healthy was impacting me. I just mm-hmm. didn't even think about it. But then once I really started to eat healthy and, and work out, anytime I would eat anything unhealthy, like it made me not feel good. And it was so interesting to see how different it was and how, when I would eat unhealthy, I just wouldn't have that same energy. So it's super crazy how they are just so connected and and yes. your physical well-being and your mental well-being are just they try to work harmoniously and if you're not taking care of one or the other you know the other has to compensate and and most of the time and it, it ends up happening in unhealthy ways or whatever right so mm-hmm. definitely just just doing your best for yourself and really putting yourself first and of course 
continuing to care about your friends and family and, and all these things, but it's really put yourself first and make sure that you are in, like you put yourself in the best place you can be. And then no matter what, everything will just kind of fall into place because your health and everything is is in control. And, and that's what's the most important. Like I didn't put music out for a long time. One, because I had to, I wanted to find my sound and I wanted to find what was going to make me different. Mm-hmm. But also my mental health was not in check. And I was like, there's no way I'm going to put myself into the music industry or put myself, you know, out for the public to judge or whatever and not be in my right kind of healthy yes. mental space right so that's something that I I saw beforehand and I was like okay I literally put my music on hold and just Mm -hmm. focused on my mental health and I focused on you know trying to wake up earlier and and you know eat healthy and all these things that I wasn't focusing on before yeah no matter what if if everything else is in line all those goals and everything don't seem as hard to accomplish because you already accomplished the the task of you know getting your mental and physical well-being in check and and just working smoothly Mm -hmm. something that I like that you mentioned was um if one's not doing well like if your mental health is not there then the physical part of you has to compensate Mm -hmm. first and I think that's something that a lot of people either forget about or don't take into consideration yeah it's 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 a harmony they have to go hand in hand but if they're, they're not leveled out the compensation that's what tires you out that's when negative things start to happen to your body you start to happen to your mental health yeah that's very important for people to really keep in mind moving forward especially during the pandemic and even after this ends whenever that will be <laughs> always make sure to continue to focus mm-hmm. on yourself and focus on your health both inside yeah. and outside 100 percent, and you know even like let's say you know this music stuff is is going really really well and I start to really focus on music and I start to forget about, you know, my health, mm-hmm. that is when things will not go right. Cause no matter what, I think mental health and physical health need to be that first priority on the list. Like, yeah. yes, shoot for your goals. Yes, do that. But you are not able to continue to grow and continue to evolve and, and grow your business or grow your platform or anything. If you are not healthy and you're not, you know, making sure you're, everything is working properly because because mm-hmm. then it's just you're, you're it's you know you're gonna end up having to slack in some places or whatever it is right so you never want to have to you know compensate your artistry or your work for your your health it should your health should always be one of the most important things in your life absolutely um, I even think health like over money to be honest in my opinion oh 100% uh, yeah because it's just <laughs> I think people know that money doesn't always make you happy nope. people can agree with that or not but I think that being truly healthy and and you know just in the right mind is what makes me truly happy and I think what makes a lot of people truly happy so health mm-hmm. is super super important for sure I love that. And I think, I think you're definitely right though. Money can really, of course, money can make you happy. I think material wise. Yeah. And you see, especially with a lot of celebrities from the past till now had all this money, you think they're on top of the world. And then when you really see what happens behind closed doors, or you really see, you know, they have like a whole documentary, what happened leading up to their death. And you're like, Mm -hmm but how they had so much money and it's like money doesn't always mean happiness it can only fulfill so much emptiness inside Mm -hmm. before it just becomes just another object it's so true it's it's Mm -hmm. so true and and that even brings me to the thought of like it, it this is a whole other conversation that we won't get too much into but like I am so against the fact that there's all these billionaires but we still have people starving in countries and all this stuff right like that bothers me so much because I'm like you have way more money than you even need like why do you feel the need to you know beat each other or get richer than the other it's like just take a second and help other people that need it and and that's something that is is part of you know my mission in terms of my career is like of course, I want to be able to create a sustainable income for myself to be able to support my friends and my family and, you know, all these people. But it's like, I really want to support the people that need it. And and I don't really want to be flashing all this jewelry and all these cars and stuff. Like, I just don't, people can do whatever they want with their money. That's not my, it's not my decision to make. But when it comes to myself, it's like, I just don't see the importance in having all these things because that's, it's not what important, like human connection and the environment and planet earth is what is most important. And that's Mm -hmm. what's going to be left in the end of the day when, 
you know if there's nothing yep. else a hundred percent absolutely yeah. and i think it kind of, that's what has to shift uh, people's mindset back to reality that's yeah. a big thing so i appreciate that i like that yeah, yeah. <laughs> So my next question for you is kind of shifting just a little bit. Mm -hmm. How can someone not only switch the narrative to becoming successful and independent? Also, how do they stay committed to it? That's a really good question as well. Um, so I would say for this is like people have to realize that, yes, of course, you can pay people to do the work for you and mm -hmm. you know obviously when it gets when you get to a big project it's great to have a team it's great to have people helping you but also we are so capable of doing things ourselves. it's it's just like what i said before it's just education and and really putting in the effort and um the attention into whatever it is that you want to do yeah so i think that's what important is really realizing that we have the power and that of course, like I said, it's great to have a team, but we have the power to be able to do things independently. It's just a matter of breaking it down and keeping it organized and just doing step by step by step by step, right? Mm -hmm. And like, and making sure that we're holding ourselves accountable for our actions, because for the most part, we are in control of our time and how we spend it and blaming outside factors or the past won't really get us that far. So we kind of have to stay optimistic and just have faith that like all our hard work will pay off and that we like we that we just do have the power right it's just it's, it's it's as simple as that that we do have the power and we don't have to rely on you know outside sources to do it for us it's the same thing like you said like go out and get it don't just expect everything to come to you you kind of if you don't ask you may never know you know exactly so, yeah and and i would also say what's really good for um, being independent and successful is to have your own dedicated kind of workspace and keep that space clean and organized. Cause for me, I used to be super messy. Like in high school, my room was always a mess. Yeah. You know, I didn't really care. I didn't think it mattered if my room was messy, but I realized mm. that that's when I was the least productive is when my space was messy. And even now to this day, I clean my room. I try to clean my room once a week and I used to yeah. never do that. And it's so weird that I've I've been like, you know what? No, this is going to help me. It's going to help me to have a clear, organized space, have things written down. It just makes it so much clearer. And I don't know if it's just the creative mind because I know it can be super scrambled. But for me, it's like having a clear and organized space just makes me so much more productive and makes me so much more inspired and really feel like a boss. You know, if you have your own little space, you're like, what's up? We're pulling up to work. Yes. You know? <laughs> I love that. I feel like I've become that person as well. Like I was like you, like my room is messy. I'm like, eh, that can yeah. wait till the weekend. Like, I'm like, mom, like who's really seeing it? It's just, it's me and my room. Literally. And, and now it's like that shift from just like, oh my gosh, like this is out of place. This needs to get clean. This needs to go back. Even my desk now, like everything kind of has to be to the T. Yeah. And I'm just like, who have I become? Literally, who is she? Like, <laughs> what? <laughs> literally but it, it makes such a big difference it's it just does. like I used to have like luckily I have I, I started renting like our basement space mm -hmm. and um, I turned it into my own little studio because before I had all my stuff in my room I was very like I had stuff all over the wall it was it was great for for the high school years but after a while I was like whoa there's way too much going on in here like yeah being in my bedroom and and, and trying to do all my work in my bedroom too it was just too much and and it's, a, it's again with the same thing it just overwhelmed me to the point where I just yep. didn't want to do anything so definitely yeah. having a space or or just even a corner of your room or anywhere just somewhere where you can kind of you know get out of that oh I'm just gonna sit in my pjs all day or anything like that and mm -hmm. I've also heard too I've been listening um there's another podcast called the mindset mentor which is really great and yeah. um he in one of the episodes they were talking about you know, it's good even to like, even though we're working at home, mm -hmm. like get out of bed and just even if you change from your PJs into another set of PJs, even just changing kind of out of what you were sleeping in really helps kind of be like, okay, now I'm in that is true. Now, you know, rather than if you're kind of like, don't get me wrong, there is days where I lay in bed and I just do work from bed all day. Mm -hmm. um, but um, it's just it's all in moderation, right? Yeah, you can't do that every day. You can't be go, go, go every day. Yeah. At the end of the day, it's like yin and yang and having that balance. Yeah, the balance yeah. is so important and, and making sure that, yeah, you give yourself time to relax. And, and don't get me wrong, I was talking about Netflix and how I felt like I was wasting my time on Netflix, which 
I, I still, I still believe I was wasting a lot of time on Netflix, mm -hmm. but I do allow myself, you know, sometimes when I eat, I just put on a quick 20 minute episode. I like to watch something when I eat, you know, it's, yes. it's good to give yourself time to relax, but it's just knowing like when to shut it down and, and move on because yeah. Netflix is just so easy to click next episode, next right? episode, and then just two binging. and a half hours later, you're like, what? like I'm so invested in this car in this character's life that is yeah. not even has anything to do with me so trust me I think I got to that point where I'm just like you know what one we're in lockdown so we're not really making money so mm -hmm. I'm like you know what Netflix you need to go <laughs> exactly. and I feel so free because now I'm not tempted to just be like on my phone the laptop the tv and scrolling and be like oh, what can I watch next yeah exactly like, it just feels liberating so I'm like you like if I'm eating then you know I'll find a quick youtuber to watch or maybe yeah. like one they'll stream me like free streaming services to watch an episode or something yeah and then once i'm done eating i'm like okay that's it now we're back to work yeah, yeah. no literally netflix is it's a trap it's a trap it's it is a trap and i've i've probably spent like all the years on netflix i, I guarantee you it's added up to like three months of my time so yeah. i just i just can't and and not this time in my life right now right now i really like I think everyone feels like this is the time to just put in that work and just yes. get stuff done. And I don't want to look back and say, oh, I spent all my time on Netflix and I didn't work at all towards my career. And now I'm in the same place as I was six months ago. So right. you may Netflix richer, really but looking. how's your bank account looking? <laughs> Literally. <like. laughs> Netflix, Netflix is like, huh? What? Huh? What? <laughs> Want to renew? Okay, go wow. ahead. <laughs> That's like the best way to look at it. Yeah. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> so shifting gears, because now mm -hmm. I'm excited for this part of the question. Uh -huh. You have a new single out. Mm -hmm. Tell us all about it. Yes. And we're going to also play you guys a snippet, but we're going to get you to tell us about your new single. Yes, mm -hmm. for sure. So my new single, it's called Soba. Um, S O B A. Um, in the song, I'm I'm saying sober, like S O B E R. But when I'm singing it, it kind of sounds like I'm saying soba. So I just named it soba. Yeah. Even though I looked up, apparently soba is like some Japanese noodle. So <laughs> that's interesting. Oh, but right? that's not what it's written about. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Um. So yeah, my songwriting process is. I really just like to vibe in the moment. I try not to overthink it too much or else it just doesn't work for me. I have to just kind of go with the flow. So mm -hmm. this song, I actually freestyled literally about a year ago. And um, nice. I was just going, I was going through a hard time at the moment and I just wasn't really feeling inspired. I hadn't written anything new in a really long time. So I just put on YouTube and I just searched up, I'm pretty sure I searched up like Amy Winehouse type beats and I just started listening, right? Mm -hmm. And Normally I just put my phone, <clears throat> I go into voice notes and I start a voice recording and I just start to freestyle a melody or something to an instrumental and normally some lyrics come out of it. So I basically like all the heart, all the melodies that you hear in that song, I literally freestyled that in the first session on my phone. But then I always wow. go back because most of the time it's all like most of it's gibberish and I'm not actually saying real words. So I always go back and then I put real words in so it, it all fits nicely and there's actually a message. Um, so that's normally how I wrote, write it. And um, yeah. around that time, like from from then to when I did that freestyle on my phone till now, there had been so many roadblocks in the way, like days where I was down and I didn't want to do anything you know, people trying to tell me how I should be releasing my music or how I should sound or how I should look. And, you know, just people mm. just trying to get, get in the way of my process. Yeah. So you have no idea how much it means to me to finally put this out and to finally get that ball rolling that I've been longing to get rolling for so long. Um, Cause I have, I have the problem where it's hard for me to get started, but once I get started, it just doesn't stop. Mm -hmm. So I'm very, very excited about that. And um, yeah, basically it's, the song is all about just being overwhelmed and feeling like there's so much to do but you don't know how to go about it and and really it's just all about the frustrations I was having in the moment and it's crazy because when I wrote that it was it was relating to my the time then but mm -hmm. the, the time from then to now like it really relates to just everything yep. that was going on in my life and you know I'm sure it relates to a lot of other people too so mm -hmm. definitely this song is very exciting and it was it was yeah it's all about just pushing myself past the oh, you know, I have to be what everyone else wants to be and just pushing through that and being like, you know what? No, I'm just going to do me and and it's going to pay off. So yeah. that's what the song's all about. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so before I actually play it, um, mm -hmm. can you 
tell everyone like what streaming services is it available on? They can go find you. On yeah, the- so again. Um, it's available on, cause I submitted it through DistroKid. So DistroKid, I submitted it like a month ago, but it takes a long time to get it on everything. So it's, mm-hmm. it's supposed to eventually hit all the streaming platforms right now. It's available on Apple music, iTunes, uh, Spotify and Amazon music. And over time, over the, probably the next few days, it'll be available on like title and all this stuff, but it's all under Katrina Anastasia. Um, and the title is Soba, so S-O-B-A, and soon it will be available on TikTok and Instagram and all those things so people can, you know, post with it or whatever, so yeah, I'm excited for that. That is um, so cool. Yeah, and hopefully it gets there soon, but DistroKid's been giving me some problems, but yeah. anyway, so yeah, it's available there, Katrina Anastasia, Soba, it should pop up, hopefully I was having a little bit of problems with my artist profiles, all this stuff, but mm-hmm. yes, it should be there, so yeah. So you guys, I'm going to give you guys a little sneak peek to Soba. Hopefully the quality comes out the same, just like how I listen to it, because I'm going to play it off my phone for you guys. Yeah. But this should just tell you guys, go check out the single. Buy yes, it. Yes, check it out. Do. <laughs> check it out. All right. So here we go. Make sure we get the volume up. Now, I told you guys just a snippet if you want to hear the just whole thing. Snippet. <laughs> <laughs> but I I love it. Yeah. Good. Oh. I'm so glad. Oh my gosh. <laughs> also, I always find it fascinating too, because sometimes if you hear a person's voice before you even see them, and then you're like, oh my gosh, like that sounds coming from you. Right? I know it's crazy. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes when I'm singing, I just close my eyes and I forget that it's even me. Yeah. Which is kind of crazy to think about, but yeah no music is great and it's a really great way to express because I'm normally pretty good at you know expressing my feelings and I'm normally I'm pretty open I always tell my friends you know what's up and whatnot but Mm. when it comes to I'm not as great at like writing it down which is why music is is just a completely different playing field for me and there's there's just so much freedom in music and when you become an artist it's you really just you're able to do basic whatever you want of course sometimes if you're signed to a label there's constrictions but Mm -hmm. being an independent artist you really just have the freedom to express yourself and to discover your artistry and I think that's what's most important so yeah that song is is great and I love it and I'm super super proud of myself for putting it out girl a round of applause real quick thank you (laughs) let's go stream it soba yes that's gonna be my new joint (laughs) <laughs> now keeping in focus on the music what inspired mm-hmm. you to get into the music industry and pursue singing and songwriting so honestly ever since I was a little girl I always kind of looked up to that like superstar rock star thing even though mm. you know as my career goes on I don't really I'm not interested in the whole like oh you know I'm a superstar and you're the fan like I want it to be very equal like we're all human like I don't you know I just I want there to be a respect between you know me as an artist and and my supporters and I don't want there to be like this huge divide between like you know me and the supporters Mm -hmm. so that's something that I really want to focus on but Mm -hmm. also um and I just I knew that I I like my personality would wouldn't thrive in like a nine to five job like that's no hate you know people can do whatever they want to do I just knew that um I needed to be in a creative environment where I you know had more control and you know I could be my own boss and all these type of things right so that's great and then when I was younger my mom always put me into uh like I was in a bunch of musicals and stuff as a kid I was doing like 
piano lessons and all and guitar lessons and all these stuff so I was always into music and I was always able to pick it up really fast like I'd remember mm-hmm. lyrics really well and all this kind of stuff so I think that's where I got <clears throat> most of the inspiration but I think it was always a part of me even if they had never put me into these type of musicals and stuff I think yeah. I would have always gone in this direction because that's just what I feel like this is what I know that I'm supposed to be doing and I just have so much fun doing it like anytime I'm making music it just makes me so happy kind of creating mm-hmm. nothing to something right so um and another thing I love about the music industry is it's not just music like Mm -hmm. take Rihanna for example like she does music she does fashion she does acting she does modeling she does makeup right it's just like music the music industry is such a great um path for Mm -hmm. lack of a better word to kind of be able to create other things as well like I'm really interested in fashion um I want to start my own brand and all these stuff I've just got a lot of big plans in mind and I that was you know the coming back to overwhelming like there's just so many things I want to do and I was like you know what I'm really good at making music and writing songs so I'm gonna you know implement or um I'm gonna enter the industry the music industry through that and then you know gain recognition and respect and then be able to on top of my music you know branch out and do fashion and and do anything else that I really feel like doing in the moment yes oh I love that so this is something you already knew from you were young like this is what I'm gonna do yeah and it was what I wanted to do and then when I went got into high school is is crazy I feel like in high school or just as you're growing up it's you're really searching for who you are and what's your identity and you're getting inspiration from places and you maybe have never found it. You don't know what your identity is or, you know, you're trying to fit into this box or whatever. And so for a while I actually lost, I knew from a kid I wanted to do music and stuff, but then in high school, I I didn't care about it. I I didn't think it was attainable. I didn't think that I was going to be able to actually do it. Mm -hmm. Um, And then as I got older, I was like, hold up. I can't be working at McDonald's my whole life. This is not... (laughs) this ain't not it so no. I was like I really have to put in the work it's and and it's so great the, like these days we we're able to be so independent there's so many platforms out there and and educational tools and, and courses to help artists be independent and to do things independently we've got yeah. the technology we've got social media right so it's just there wasn't a reason for me not to do it so I just decided that I was going to do it so right just yes take, just take the leap Yes, yes. It's, it's so important. It's just <clears throat> do what you want to do. Like, mm-hmm. don't, don't, if, if you're passionate about something, if you know that you're good at it and, and you have fun doing it, just go for it. You really have, you, but don't have any expectations, right? You never know if it's going to be the best thing you've ever done or what, but no matter what, everything you do, you always learn from it. You always can progress and grow and evolve and, and, and just continue to be the best version of yourself, really. Yes. Oh, see, these are, these are why I love doing these kind of interviews, especially with people who have actually never met before, because to yeah. hear your story like this, for you to explain yourself and show people like, just go after what you want. Mm-hmm. We're showing you guys examples of just, here's a female, here is a woman who's like, you know what, I'm going to do what I have to do. And I'm going to do it unapologetically. Yeah, this literally. I'm example. Yeah, exactly. And, and there's going like to, Yes. yes. And, and and people just have to realize there's going to be so many people that are going to doubt you or that are going to try to tell you what you're supposed to do. Or mm-hmm. like I said, it's the same thing. If, if, if you know this person and you respect their opinion and they're, and they're a professional, then you, you, you should probably listen to kind of what they're saying or their advice if, if they have more experience. But yeah. <clears throat> if it's just people coming at you trying to doubt you. It's like, they're probably just jealous. They're probably, yeah. they're probably jealous that, that they're, they don't have the, the, the confidence to to go out and do it themselves like I've had so many situations where I'll be out in public like shooting a music video and there's a group of girls like mocking me or making fun of me right and I'm just like really yeah I've had that happen before and I was really just like are you really gonna you know like shoot down a queen like what you know like we're supposed to that's a whole other situation of like um women in the industry it's like it always seems like it's some sort of sort of competition and I just Mm -hmm. I don't agree with that we should all be supporting each other we all have talent it's all our unique talent we have to be building each other up rather than trying to compete because it shouldn't be about one's better than the other we're all great so Mm -hmm. yeah speak it preach it yes (laughs) oh I'm tired I feel like there's always a competition and I feel like people need to understand you will have your own lane. You will have your own success. You will have your own stardom. And I feel like a lot of people have this thing where 
I feel like my name should be in lights. I need to be the next Beyonce. I need to be the next Rihanna, the next Taylor Swift or whoever the case may be. But maybe that's not meant for you. And that's totally okay. You're supposed to be in a lane of your, of your own. Exactly. If we were all like all of these people who came before us, you might have more downfalls than you would like, I would, what's the opposite of that? The more climbs, let's go with that. The yeah. more highs in your life. Yeah. So people need to just stay in your lane, do what you have to do to reach the success that is meant for you. 100%. Yes. And I think even when it comes to that, it's <clears throat> you'll be respected more if you're out doing your own thing. Like people who are just copying what everyone else is doing. It's, mm -hmm. it's you know, I'm sure it's just people, people like when they see <clears throat> your true unique artistry shining through, whether even like artists respect artists that's that's just it and and sometimes it's not like that but I believe that that's what it should be even if there's yeah. you know people send me a song and they're like hey I just made this song what do you think even if maybe it's not my personal cup of tea or maybe it's not something I would listen to mm -hmm. there's no way I'm gonna shoot them down or tell them it's not good you know yeah. maybe I'll give them some of my feedback or things that I think that they could work on or what would make me you know like it better but no matter what I'm appreciating their work they put lots of time and effort into this mm -hmm. and that's why I don't really say oh I oh I hate country or anything like I appreciate all types of music I have my my favorites but yeah. when it comes to music it's it's free expression and it's the same thing with any type of art or anything really it's it's free expression and if you're put if someone's putting in the hard work and dedication into it there should be no reason why you're hating on them or anything and, no. and people and people who are confident in their own craft and, and in themselves they don't have time to put anyone else down that's why when people hate on you it's yeah. like yeah this really you're so you're spending your time that you could be working on yourself and you're hating on me like okay I see how it is you know it's not just don't take hate to heart Mm -hmm. that's <laughs> it mm -hmm. girl the time that they spend hating on you they could be putting into themselves gold right there <laughs> right there so when you see those haters those naysayers block delete ignore or troll them right back <laughs> they just upset that you doing it and you're achieving your goals i'm exactly. here for it. exactly and that's what it's all about it took me so long to understand that Mm -hmm. But then once you do, it's like haters literally don't affect, don't affect me at all. I'm just no. like, obviously I'm kind of, I'm there. I'm like, really, like, really? But at the end of the day, it's like, they're really spending their time on you. And like yeah. haters are still bringing in the, bringing in the dollar signs. So, you know, if they're looking at your stuff, if they're streaming your stuff, if they're watching your videos to hate, mm -hmm. still getting paid for it. So <laughs> that's the part that gets me where I'm like, you really came on this person's Instagram or their YouTube to hate. And do you realize by you coming, even just you clicking, they can paid one way or another by your click. Mm -hmm. So we like, think about that for a second. You, you just paid them. Like, thank you for the hater dollars. I will accept a gladly. <laughs> <laughs> like, Literally. So oh funny. my gosh. <laughs> so my next question for you is, what would you say to that young girl right now looking for a source of inspiration or motivation, whether they are battling mental health problems or looking to pursue their dreams or both? So what I would say to the young girl is that you are so powerful and your mind is your greatest strength. Yes. Take the time needed to understand yourself and your identity and how your own mind works because everyone's mind works differently. Um, you know, other people's methods <clears throat> of, you know, calming themselves down or, you know, feeling content may be different than yours. So just find out, really identify yourself and, and figure out who am I? What do I want? What are my morals? What are my goals? Identify that before you let anyone else tell you who you are, who you should be. Identify yourself yes. and who you are and just continue to be optimistic about your dreams and just do your very best to be kind to everyone you meet because you have no idea how others can help you and how you can help others. Um, and another thing I would just say is it's cliche, but you are enough and your story is enough and our minds are powerful and you can learn to master anything if you just put your mind and your focus to it. Yeah. Um, and then the other thing I would say is um, no matter what you can always learn from your experiences, even if you do something and maybe it doesn't go how you want it to, you can always learn from your experiences and always just take it and say, you know what? Okay, next time I'm going to do better. Never get defeated by what people say or if, if something doesn't turn out the way you are. 
um, uh, the way you planned. And um, even something I learned recently, like I'm 21, I, I just learned this was for me when I would get, um, you know, in maybe not, not as good of a state of mind or in a negative space, I yeah. would almost disassociate my identity, you know, like I would, I would say, you know what, I want to be as Katrina, I want to be this positive, kind, productive person, right? So when mm. I was there, when I was in that good headspace, I was like, yeah, this is me. But then the days that I would not be in that headspace, I would completely disassociate myself from that Katrina. But yeah. what's so important is to identify with both. Because once you, when you're in that bad place and, and you're not identifying with yourself, I literally forget like who I am and, and how people see me and, and all my goals and everything, right? So you mm-hmm. have to identify with that person that you are when you're sad as well, or when you're sad, when you're angry, when you're frustrated, that is you too. And you need to embrace that and just put the whole yeah. package together of, of happy, of sad, of excited, frustrated. It's all one. And, and it's just the most important thing is identifying and learning who you are and who you want to be and how you want to be seen by other people and how you want to re- be remembered, I think is um, just the most important thing is just be yourself. Yes. I think that's the most important part. Like you said, you need to embrace all sides of you because that's what makes you you. We only mm-hmm. tend to focus on the positives. We tend to ignore the negatives. And like you said, when that comes back around again, we're like, oh my gosh, we're kind of put into this sort of shock being back in this mental space. And it's like, no, this is a part of you and that's okay. Yeah. Embrace all elements of you because that's what makes you, you. Exactly. And it's Mm -hmm. the same thing. Like when, when problems come or let's say you get into a fight with someone, you don't want to just ignore the fight and pretend that nothing happened. That's not fixing anything. So it's the same thing when you're in a place of your life where, you know, you're not happy. Don't ignore those feelings. Don't bottle those feelings. Deal with them. Like bring them to service. It might be really hard, but the the more you get used to doing this, of t- like tackling these these feelings or anything when they come, the quicker they will pass. But yeah. if you just bottle them up and 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 you know try to put on a facade that nothing's wrong or whatever, it's like it's just inevitably it's just gonna it's gonna catch up to you and then what are you going to do at that point right so Mm -hmm. yeah definitely identify with all sides of of your mind yeah and embrace your just embrace who you are and who whether whatever you believe in god or the universe or whatever yeah what you were meant to be and who you are that is who you are yeah 100 percent. 100 percent. oh i'm already (laughs) sad because we're at the last question (laughs) it's okay we got lots of wow this conversation has been great honestly I've I've been loving it I thank you and I've been loving this like I'm mind blown and I say this (laughs) to every guest but it's true because when I first started the podcast last year I was mostly interviewing people that I knew so there was a sense of level of comfort and just like relax like I already know who you are yeah this year 2021 we switched it up a bit And I'm giving you guys a little quick backstory where I went like on Clubhouse and stuff. And I'm like, anyone who wants to be on the podcast, join me, fill out the application form. And now having the chance to hear from so many different people, so many voices, Mm -hmm. whether they're in Toronto, whether they're from America, like to hear your story, to hear your journey, how you want to inspire, especially young women like, like ourselves. This, I love the chance that everyone's voice is being heard. And just thank, just a pre thank you, but thank you for joining the show today. Of course, of course. I was literally, I've been so excited for this. You have no idea. So I'm, I'm, I'm Yay. super glad to come here. And I love the name. I love the name of the podcast because life is just about just do what you got to do and, yes. and don't feel bad about it. Like, of, of course, you want to have people's best interest in mind, but it's like just un- unapologetically do you and just yes. get what you want done because that is what's important and that in the end of the day mm-hmm. is what is going to make you grateful for everything and, and absolutely and grateful to yourself for putting in the work and getting you to the place that you are aspiring to be yep a hundred percent yes so actually that actually leads perfectly into my last question for you what does it mean to be unapologetically katrina so to be unapologetically Katrina, um, in, in the least cheesy way possible, um, <laughs> it would be to really just love unconditionally, to love yourself, to love your family, your friends, to love, the, to love strangers, to love animals, and most importantly, to love our planet because yes, we are important. We, you know, humanity, humankind, right? But we, none of us would be here without the earth. And I think that 
it is too often look past how grateful we need to be we need to be for the fact that we are here living breathing on this earth you know the breath that we even can take outside is so um like underrated people yeah. don't think about that they don't remember or appreciate that we're able to do that so that's the one thing mm -hmm. and then another thing would be um same sort of thing that i said identify yourself with the good and bad days and know that no matter how or i know that no matter how i feel to just keep pushing through because my power comes from within and yeah. the more i tend to my power the stronger and more controlled it becomes it's just like you plant a seed, right? You plant a seed, you're watering it every day. It's just like mm -hmm. the same thing we talked about, stimulating your mind a little bit every day. You don't see progress for a bit, but yes. eventually you start seeing that little seed come up and then all of a sudden it just starts sprouting up and the, and the, as you keep tending to it every day, like you were doing before it even showed, it just gets bigger and stronger. And it's the same thing with your mind, with your with your physical health, with, with your goals and aspirations. The more you put time and effort and love into those things the bigger and stronger it will become and the quicker it will grow and the easier it will be to take care of so yeah that's what i would say oh katrina thank you thank you oh thank you for God. having me you guys look i just feel so renewed i feel like i could actually work out i got a little bit <laughs> yes 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 for sure and i definitely in terms of working out this is a quick little side note that's yeah. it's like um it's it's good to work out earlier on in the day because if you work out right before bed or or later in the night like when you're going to go to bed your body starts making all this energy so then it might make it harder for you to go to sleep so mm -hmm. it's good to push the workouts earlier in the day so that once it comes to bedtime you're you're already worked out, you're tired, you're ready to sleep, and you're ready to get that beauty rest. Yes. <laughs> so true. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Thank you. Just everything that you spoke on today, you taught us. First of all, I already told you guys, stream her music, Soba. <laughs> Soba. Like, period. That's it. Stream it. <laughs> like, what? Just thank you. Thank you so much. This concludes today's episode of Unapologetically Her. If you have any final thoughts you just want to put out there real quick. I, I just want to say, yes, thank you to you. And You're I wish welcome. everyone safety and health and abundance. And I just hope everyone really goes for their goals and just uses this time of lockdown or wherever you are in your life to just really focus on what you want to do, where you want to be and push for those dreams and goals because you will get there. We will all get there and we'll yeah. all be happy and living in peace and harmony. So <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> that's my last message I would say. So thank you so much for having me. And I'm, I'm just so excited. I'm so excited for both of our journeys and it's going to be yes. so great. And thank you again for having me. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. And let them know one more time where they can follow you on social media. You can find me on Instagram at Katrina.Anastasia. That's K-A-T-R-I-N-A dot A-N-A-S-T-A-S-I-A. -A -S -S um, on YouTube, it's Katrina Anastasia. On Facebook, Katrina Anastasia. It, most, it's all Katrina Anastasia. Spotify, Apple Music. You can find mm -hmm. me there. Um, most, all of my links are all on my Instagram. I'm hoping to get a website set up soon. But for now, Instagram, you can find everything there. You can reach out to me there. So that's probably the best place to find me. Uh, I love it. <laughs> And you guys, thank you all so much for listening. If you would like to hear from Katrina again, or if you have any comments, questions, or podcast topics, hit me up on social media at unapologetically her on Instagram and at unapologetic underscore UH on Twitter. And you can listen to the podcast on various streaming platforms, including SoundCloud and YouTube by searching unapologetically her podcast. Once again, Katrina, thank you so much for joining me today. Of course. Thank you all for listening and hopefully yes. you're tuning for a new episode. Oh, yay. So excited. Have a great night. Thank you Back everyone you. for listening. See? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Much love. Peace, you guys. Yes. Love. Bye. Bye.